So I get asked a lot what is in the bag. So what is in the bag? Let's start at the bottom. So I have three wedges. I have a 48 degree Cleveland, which is pulled to 50 degrees with a dynamic gold spinner shaft in it. I then have a 54 degree Smithworks wedge. It's the legal version. It has your standard steel wedge flex shaft, nine degrees of bounce and a Wilson staff model forged 58 degree wedge, this has 10 degrees of bounce. Even flow graphite shaft. The reason for the graphite shaft is it adds more speed through the impact in the bunker, so therefore I'm gonna get more spin on it. When it comes to my irons, I've got Tacomo 101T, and I go from four iron to pitching wedge, KBS Tour 120S, with Lamkin UXT grips. The Lamkin UXT grips are unbelievable. These irons are superb. Tacomo contacted me. They asked me, would you like to try out the irons? So I tried out the irons. I was currently in the tailor-made P770s, so I took the closest model to that. And they're absolutely fantastic. I have now given away my P770s to my brother. They'll never return. Because I'm that happy with these. These are, these are fantastic. Really love them. The hollow head technology, exactly the same as your P770s. It's just a win, just a cracking set of irons. And then right at the top of the bag, I've got two clubs that are very similar. So I've got a two hybrid and a two iron. The two iron, Taylor made Sim UDI, it's 18 degrees. I love it off the tee, I can keep it really low. I deliberately got it with a steel shaft on it. It's just a dynamic gold S300. I've tried them with graphite shafts before, really, really struggle. So the steel shaft's good because I feel as I can hit it hard and just really get that ball out there with a low trajectory, I love it. The two hybrid, it's an old one, as I say, 17 degrees, ping, G400. It's so easy to hit, 85 grams, stiff flex, tour shaft. If I'm struggling with driver on a specific day, I will resort to this. This is the go-to club. It's great from the fairway, great from the semi, just great from everywhere. It's just, I've tried the G425, the G430 and so on, but it's never been as good as the G400. I just feel as though the G400 is the one. It's a case of if it's not broken, don't fix it. It's just, if it's good, keep it. As I say, if it's good, keep it. Taylor made Sim Rocket 3 wood at 14 degrees. Sim Max, so the easiest one to hit. It's in a hazardous smoke 6.0 shaft, so quite stiff. Again, it's an older model, a lot older model. You look at Colin Morikawa, he's gone from stealth back to Sim. Bet Taylor made are loving that. I was at the Open Championship at Royal Troon when Stenson won it and Jamie Donaldson pulled out on the ninth tee, he pulled out a Callaway Steelhead 3-wood or 5-wood. Now that, I mean that now is 20 years old, so back then it was a good 10 years old. The technology in fairy woods, yes it's changed a little bit over the last 3 or 4 years, but not a huge amount, not to see great gains, so guys on tour have got an older fairy wood in the bag. Driver, Wilson Dynapower Carbon Head, 12 degrees, set at 11, so 12 degrees, so I've taken loft off but the face sits slightly open, so I avoid the left ball. So that's why I had to go in the 12 degree head. Hazardous smoke, 6.0 shaft, but it's only 50 grams. So it's quite a light shaft, yet still stiff. So that gets the club head speed up. But as I say, when I got fitted for this, my, my, my tendency is to go left with driver, slightly left, opening the face. So taking the loft off to open the face. If I had 10 and a half degrees and opened the face, then I've got less loft, so I'm not getting the launch. So I stuck a 12 degree head on. On Wilson guy stuck a 12 degree head on, knocked it down to 11, opened the face, boom, love it. Putter, love it or hate it, directed force 2.1 from lab, lie angle balanced. Stability tour shaft, the most expensive shaft they had. Forward press grip, look at that. It's that little bit there, so it sits in a forward press position all the time. Very clever. Most stable putter I've ever had, most consistent putter I've ever had. On short putts, unbelievable. I can't rev it up enough. If you've got a spare, 500 pounds to buy one, go for it. <laughs> but you'd spend it on a driver, so I mean, why not? You can't put the ball in the hole with a driver. Then there's bits and bobs, Wilson Conform gloves. I've got in here, I've got a Bushnell um, rangefinder. My ball that I use is the Wilson Triad. This ball is as good as the Pro V1, if not better. Sorry, tight list, but it's fact. You should look at Rick Shields' video on that. It's very, very impressive. Book for scorecard, sun cream, sharpies, tees, teaching equipment, um, anything else of note, groove cleaner, CBD oil, nice. Box of plasters all the time, microphones, my wallet, that's the lightest thing in here. And finally, one thing I take on the golf course, I take all the time, when I golf, I play very much recreational now, so I stop and I, I, I just arse around at greens and do chips and pitches, putts, things like that. Ghost holes. Roll the rock ghost holes. These are brilliant. 
you just chuck them on the green, putt towards them, chip towards them. You've always got a location you can use. So if the pin's not where you want it to be, you can create your own. These are brilliant. They go everywhere with me. So that's what's in my bag currently here early October 2023. That will change, it always changes. The irons are brilliant. Love the irons, love the putter. Everything else is just kind of touch and go. Oh, the hybrid, love the hybrid as well. If you can afford one of these, go and get it. It is absolutely ugly, it's hideous. But you get to a point within a week or so that you forget that, you don't even notice that, and when your pals watch you roll the putts in, it's like, where'd I get one of those? <laughs> thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Just click that red button below if you've not subscribed. Also the bell notification. And check out my website, eurekagolfswing.com. I will see you in my next video. Thank you.